Satnam, it's me Shakti Sundari and I'm back with you for another little reading and commentary on Danielle Odier's book Desire, The Tantric Path to Awakening. This is my second attempt at doing this video because um, first time it didn't work, it kept glitching. And it's a beautiful sunny day which is why I've got all these sun flickers on my face coming through my blinds. It looks kind of weird but never mind. So we're carrying on on um, today's theme is again about the skin and about um, touch, the sense of touch and how that connects us with the ecstasy of life. And there's a second part to this that I started speaking about yesterday. And that's why today's little video message is entitled, Your Body Knows. Yeah, Your Body Knows. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to say a bit more before I read it actually. So your body knows, your body is wise, your body has access to so much knowing, to so much truth, but very, very often in the modern world we're not in touch with our bodies and we're not able to even listen or interpret the signals that our body is giving us all the time. Don't forget that every single experience you've had since the moment you've been born is stored in your cells. Every experience, every emotion, every physical interaction or experience is stored. Um, so good and bad, you know, and there's memories there and there's a knowing there, there's a wisdom there and yet we've been taught to override that wisdom and we've been taught to deaden our senses so much so that a lot of people are going around completely cut off from their bodies and that's actually part of what's meant by um, the dissociation that's prevalent in the world between, um, this, this is from a tantric yogic perspective anyway, the masculine and the feminine because in those in that way of thinking, the body is the feminine, in the same way that the earth is the mother and the mind would be the masculine, okay? So we've been living in this culture, in this society where the mind has dominated so much that we've lost touch with the body, with the feminine, with the earth. And now everything is changing and we are being reminded and we are reawakening and we're reconnecting, but it's taking time. So the body is as important as the mind as a source of knowing and wisdom and truth and guidance. It can be your navigation system through life. Okay, so I'm just going to read you a little bit from Daniel Ojay's book, Tantric Path to Awakening, today. Here we go. One of the great discoveries of presence is that we can have total trust in the body. It knows. It is marvelously capable of providing us with an immediate response to most situations in which a choice is required. How about that? Unfortunately, we do not recognize this ability of the body. Very often our reflections trouble us and push us to make decisions that go against the body. When this happens, we often say, I knew, which means my body knew. The more we learn to trust our body totally, the more we will discover that it naturally guides us to a joyous spontaneity. A day lived in partial consciousness of the breath and of the sense of touch is a day which tends more and more towards plenitude and towards the deep satisfaction of our longings in proportion to the development of this consciousness. Wow. So, you know, for me, who has always been embodied very profoundly and, um, you know, always been an athlete, a dancer, a mover, and then a teacher of ecstatic dance, and then a teacher of yoga, and a healer, and a body worker. This is what comes most naturally to me. But I recognize that it is not what comes most naturally to many people. So this knowing of the body, this connection with the body, this listening to the body, has been, has been conditioned out of us, programmed out of us. Um, deadened, you know, so much of society. Think about where our kids go to school. They have to sit down and be quiet and be still for hours. Is that natural? Is that natural for a young body to want to do that? Think about the times when you may have been smacked 
as a little child or reprimanded for doing something so spontaneous and natural. You were simply following the urge of your body, right? And now think about situations in your life now where you have a choice to make, you have a decision to make. Do you go into your head and like let all those crazy thoughts go round and around and around and around? Do you mull over? Do you rely purely on the ego mind and your logic and your rational thinking? And how does that serve you? And or um, do you go to the body and the immediate visceral response of the body, which quite often, again, in my experience, I know we are all different. There's an immediate knowing. I don't need to kind of inquire to the mind. My body will just say like even so for example, do you want to go for dinner tonight? My mind could sort of think, well, I've got to pick the kids up and then I've got to do that. That's the thinking mind, right? If I just tune into my body, there will be pretty often a very clear yes or no and it's just a knowing. It's just a knowing and we all have the capacity for that and that that's what the body is there for. <laughs> it's so wise. And again, um, let's talk a little bit about boundaries. Okay, so often in life, we have had our boundaries overridden. Energetically, physically, emotionally, mentally, overridden boundaries. So our body has felt that. And if we're going to talk about sex, because we're talking about Tantra, although of course Tantra isn't just about sex, it's about waking up and self-realization, then pretty often for many 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 people they've been having sex i've done this too obviously um when the body said no body said no yoni said no did it anyway disconnected not listening oh overriding my own boundaries poor like poor poor body poor poor yoni and that can create um actually a desensitization because if we keep doing that again and again and again we close off so we begin to feel less not more when we begin to open up again through these practices and reawaken the sensitivity sometimes um, we can release traumas that we didn't even know we had um, from all of these times of overriding the body's no the body says no and we still go there so important to listen and not override the body's knowing. My invitation to you today is to just try to navigate, have a go at navigating the day from the body and just see where your body takes you. Where does it want to lead you? If you have a choice to make, consult your body first before you consult your mind and see what happens. <laughs> That's my sharing for today. Um, I'll be speaking a little bit more tomorrow. Who knows what's gonna come up? Thank you so much for being with me. Oh, and also just wanted to say, if you like these messages, if you like these videos, please share them. And also if you're interested in what I do, which is teaching and facilitating these kinds of things one-to-one -one and through online courses as well, my online course, Awakening Your Ecstatic Potential, then go to my website, www.shaktisandari.com and have a look or message me below. And as always, I love to hear your feedback and your questions. Thank you. Much love and Satnam.